Speed cameras in the city are designed to slow down traffic and make it easier for children crossing streets near parks and schools. But critics tell two investigator Pam Zeckman some of the cameras are nothing more than money makers for the city and she's here with this original report. Pam. Kate and Rob, some locations are obvious, like ones directly across from schools and busy parks. But the location of some of the city's most profitable speed cameras caused us to wonder what they are really for. It's small. I mean, I never see kids, I never see anybody here. I did not see any park around this camera. Ayub Khan is mad about the $100 tickets he's gotten. Why do you think they have this camera here? To make money, plain and simple. This tiny park on the northwest side of Chicago is the reason for two of the most active speed cameras in the city. There's this camera at 4831 West Lawrence, which has already issued nearly 19,000 tickets so far this year. That's the fifth most in the city. And then this camera at 4909 North Cicero, right along the Edens Expressway. It's the number one ticket producer in the city, issuing more than 51,000 tickets so far this year. That's $1.7 million in revenue for the city. I believe it's a revenue generating tool. Consumer advocate and traffic blogger Mike Brockway says the cameras do little to protect children. Photo enforced speed limit, 30 miles an hour. I'm sure people are asking, where's this park? Is it, you know, right on the expressway? What's going on with it? In reality, it's a couple of blocks south and one block west of Cicero Avenue. This speed camera on Lawrence is supposed to protect children, but to be effective, they would have to walk through this car wash, down this alley, and then into the park. It makes no sense the park to me. Is, the park is literally an excuse to put the speed camera there. There's no denying that. Arena says aldermen have little input regarding where the speed cameras are installed. People feel like we're grabbing money. We're not trying to solve the traffic issues. Another top performing speed camera at a questionable location is the one at 10318 South Indianapolis. There's no school or park with children at risk, just a nearby bike trail. It's issued almost 18,000 tickets this year, collecting $1 million from drivers. It shouldn't be the only solution and it shouldn't be just to generate revenue. A city spokesman says all speed cameras are within one-eighth of a mile of city child safety zones. He said crash data from 2009 to 2012 shows there were a significant number of crashes, some involving pedestrians and children, that justified placing speed cameras in the areas we highlighted in our report. To see a list of the top five speed camera locations in the city, Go to our website at cbschicago.com. Robin Kate. It's interesting to hear an alderman say that they don't have purview over where these go. You would think they would in their wards. He's very upset about that. In fact, he says there's another location near a park in his ward where cars have crashed into a house on the corner six times, mm. and he can't get a speed camera put there. Mm. All right.